Hazards. Let me get my way quickly for one second. To be honest, I don't know if trying to wear this like super thick, kinky straight wig today is a mistake or not. You know what I should do actually? I should remove some of the tracks in here because baby, this thing is thick. Thick. But I'll wear it anyways. Let's get ready, shall we? Yo. Oh, how's it guys? How's it? Mulweni Retina guys. Mulweni, Mulweni Indian. Bulisa Nongi Emakaya. Sana, why is my chest feeding the nation? Okay. Then Bulisa Nongi Emakaya. I hope you guys are doing well. That you have had a good weekend and a good week earlier. Can you put on the aircon actually? Yeah, she's up. So I decided to start this week's vlog on a Sunday, yeah, because yo, I wanna attempt <laughs> to do a weekly vlog, but this is a one up on way too. Um, but yeah, today's Sunday. Um, my husband and I are gonna go out for lunch. He's taking me to a new restaurant that we haven't tried. It's called La Vie and Rose, I believe. That's what it's called. I think it's called La Vie and Rose. Um, I have no idea where it is. I don't know what to expect. He just said it's a nice, like, out outdoorsy type of place. So I was like, okay, my see ya, baby. Um, so I'm quickly getting dressed. I haven't had the greatest start to my day. Um, I actually woke up like pretty stressed out, pretty anxious this morning for a lot of reasons, way too, but yeah. <laughs> Life is so difficult, guys. Like, life is so difficult. And I know that... Hold on. And I know that sometimes, you know, when you follow people on, on social media, it looks like their lives are just so perfect. But life is very imperfect, guys. Like, no matter what you have, no matter how good, like, certain aspects of your life are, life is still quite difficult, you know? Um... I I, th I think I personally feel <laughs> that I have like a really good life um, I'm happy with the person that I am you know I know that the Lord loves me um, I have a husband that cares for me protects me provides for me um, and has genuinely made my life like so much better I have a great relationship with like the people around me I have great friends um and i guess i have even like a certain level of financial stability um not wealthy by any stretch of the imagination i think that's quite obvious from <laughs> you guys consume like my lifestyle content and my lifestyle content is honestly like a true depiction of my actual life you know um granted it's a very small portion of my life but it's a it's a decent representation of the life that i live um and you know and and so although i'm not wealthy i think like i'm quite financially stable and okay um but life is so hard y'all like yeah anyways um <laughs> the point of me saying this was that i had a pretty rough start to my day this morning and my husband had to spend literally the past four hours wiping away my tears and <laughs> comforting me and convincing me that everything is okay which he probably has to do that like once a week <laughs> every week um but as as he was doing that i think i was a little bit convicted i mean i'm grateful that i have a husband who's so good at like calming me down and you know convincing me that everything is going to be okay and i trust him when he says that everything is going to be okay but as that was happening i think i got a little bit of a conviction 
um, that um, my source of peace and comfort should really come from God, you know, and that if I'm always relying on my spouse, to provide me with peace and comfort and to quote unquote be my peace you know how controversial that thing is but you know sometimes like sometimes your spouse is genuinely your peace and that's how i feel about my husband but i was convicted that you know the lord should be my peace god should be my peace um and yes my husband should be my peace as well but he should be secondary the the, the comfort and peace and security that i get from my spouse should be secondary um for multiple reasons one is that if i rely too much on him and not enough on god that eventually becomes um idolatry and that i'll start to idolize my husband and value him and trust in him more than i do in god but secondly because he's a human being you know and and sometimes he'll disappoint me you know or and and sometimes even if he doesn't necessarily like do something to disappoint me he won't always have the capacity to fill my cup you know um yeah so i was really convicted about it and i was like wow lord like yeah and 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 we should really try to receive these convictions as a gift because as long for as long as the lord is still convicting you of your sin and your missteps um, sorry, your mistakes, I mean, missteps, yes, yeah, I mean to say, your missteps. As long as the Lord is still convicting me, it means he hasn't completely left you to your own devices, you know. Um, and once the Lord leaves us to our own devices, we will literally sin so badly that we will destroy ourselves um, completely. Um, I got distracted I just walked in here. I got distracted. What was I even saying? Um, yeah, so as long as the Lord, like, continues to convict us, it means that... Um, he has not left us to our own devices, you know, and convictions from the Lord are actually like an act of an act of mercy. Um, yeah, <laughs> take that as you'll take it. Um, yeah, th th that's how my morning's been going. Um, we didn't go to church this morning because of how hysterical I was this morning, but um, we're not going to let the day go to waste. We're going to go out and just like relax and was insisting that we go out and just like enjoy our life you know we work so incredibly hard like my husband and i are always working like always working he probably works like a good 16 hours sometimes 18 hours a day um and i work like a corporate nine to five and then outside of my nine to five i take care of this house um i probably work about seven to eight hours on my nine to five job and then i take care of this house um and i work on social media you know so like probably in terms of the hours that we work we probably work the same um so we're always working so we never really get a time to actually enjoy our life so we're gonna do that today we're gonna not never not never um but the only nice things we really ever get to do is like go out for date nights and go out to nice restaurants um but to be honest there isn't much else to do in Joburg, at least that we are aware of <laughs> but yeah let's get ready um i'm applying this kerastase serum um on my hair so the majority of my hair as i'm sure you can see is relaxed but i've got quite a bit of new growth here and i'm actually transitioning back to natural hair or at least i think i still am <laughs> i think i change my mind about that every day um but anyways let's get ready guys and then we'll go um i'll show you guys obviously how this restaurant is um, and maybe I'll review it for you guys, yeah? When I come back, I want to cook uh, dinner, not for tonight, probably for tomorrow. Um, tonight, I think we'll probably just have something light since we're going to go out for lunch. She's putting all, all of her cars down on the table Knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one but she's somebody else in the making first She's just gotta stop all the faking And she'll be there But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever She leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her 
Today is a bit of a gloomy day, but I appreciate the fact that it's not too hot. But I want to show you guys my outfit. So this dress I had bought in my previous vlog. It's a maxi. This is a maxi dress. It's from Willie's. I appreciate the shape. It's very like hourglass-esque. We fit it around the waist. My bag is from Michael Kors. And then my jewelry. This one's from Daniel Wellington. Like all three of them. All three of these are from Daniel Wellington. And then my earrings. Where are these earrings from? Woolies. Yes. These earrings are from Woolies. That's my outfit. Let's go, my suit. My fit. My viewfinder is broken. <laughs> My viewfinder is broken. Okay, let's let's go and have something to eat. Yesterday I lost the battle, trying at all costs oh, to keep you, babe. Oh, to keep you, babe. We've been home. I think we got home around six. Yeah, I think we got home at about six o'clock. It is quarter to nine. I got back home and I just like laid in bed for like a good <laughs> two hours in a bit. And I was catching up on some of like my favorite YouTubers who posted some vlogs. And I thought, you know what? Before Delali, Mandy Peggy. But also, ugh, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired and, I, and it's not for any reason other than the fact that I've been up since like 6 a.m. this morning. I've had a full-ish day um, and it's 9 o'clock for crying out loud. Like, are most people tired of 9 o'clock <laughs> after like a full day? But also at the same time, I know that I need to cook because I want to come home from work. So tomorrow's an office day. <laughs> you know, let me not make that face. As, let me be grateful to the Lord for what He has blessed me with. But tomorrow is an office day, and 
that typically means that i come home from work like super emotionally exhausted and physically exhausted but mainly emotionally and so i'm not gonna have the time or the energy to cook and i know my husband will probably be working so he's not gonna make food either so what will end up happening is that we'll either have takeouts or Kanye will have to get like all these rotisserie chicken which is also a hassle because it's going the app, make an order, pay delivery fee, tip the driver, guningi, then I have to cut the food up, make a salad, guningi, guningi, and then gi wine. And you know what, every time things like this happen where like the whole day happens, and then the night time comes and I have to like do some of the stuff like cooking, things around the house and so on. It just makes me realize more and more about when I'm investing in share plans to power corporate. Like what's this thing? So what's this about when I'm investing in share plans? But in my young guys, it's like the time you buy. That's my issue. The time you buy, you know. And my husband has said it to me so many times. But okay, let's just. Pay off your car and then you can quit. And guys, like, he's right, I can, but my guys in front in my like, I want all that disposable money. And he always says to me, But you make money, like, you're making content, but it's not the same. It's not the same. And maybe it could be the same if I actually dedicated enough time to it as I do to corporate. But the thing I love about corporate guys is that it's stable. Like, you get sick leave, child. You get sick leave. You got you get annual leave, twenty two days of annual leave, birthday leave, four months fully paid maternity leave. You can even extend your maternity leave if you want to give up a portion of your salary. Like, oh, there's just so many benefits that I feel like with content creation, at least in my experience, <laughs> in my experience so far, is that sometimes guys it brings us their guess. Let me tell you. Can I tell you that there's work that I did in November that I still haven't gotten paid for and it's Feb. Feb. And I still haven't gotten paid for that work. I don't know if I'll ever get paid for that work or when I'm going to get paid for that work. It brings us the guys. Like, is the guys that are cool, look, are cool, which just makes like, oh, she has a corporate just so anxiety inducing, you know? Um, but anyways, I'm going off on a tangent, but not the point of this. Let me cook. Um, Udebuko said that he wanted mpokoko for dinner. So I'm going to make the pap for the mpokoko. And then um, I think I'll make us beef and cauliflower rice, like a beef stew and cauliflower rice for dinner for tomorrow. Yeah, then that can work. Let's get to cooking. <laughs> California The sun is always shining right People are smiling, making plans Hiding behind their shades And you're doing the same No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where you're at Heart is fire, but baby I bet you're cold without me even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get in the sleep In that bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold You're so damn cold It never rains in California the sun is always shining bright But if the sky would open up You're staying home, you don't get out You always used to love the rain But LA changed you No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where your heart is fire But baby, I bet you're cold Without me, even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get in sleep In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold You're so damn cold Going all to different 
places, different planets Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty-handed You like the fast life You like the drive, get down and dirty like, like the bad guy You want some love, you like when you feel like calling a midnight mm, You got the best of me You got me losing sleep God, you came home, yes? Because while I was driving home on Batizawam, if I bump into cops, and he has a cop as a heart and he's gonna drink. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, they've never asked me for one. Right. Me, I've been asked, so how do you wanna cooperate? <laughs> and she should cooperate. No. <laughs> he decided to be a law abiding citizen. You know, pay a bribe. No problem. So I had my license disc, right? Yeah. But I had it in my cabin when I had it stuck out of the window. Oh, and, and the one you had was expired. Yeah, yeah. The one on the window was expired. Yeah. Okay. And I said to him, no, 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 I've got the real one. I even showed him, like, here, I got it. I just haven't had time to stick it on the window. Yeah. Oop. Yeah, I can arrest you now. How I, I know I we are paid that. We are paid. You not sticking it on the window. He was just trying to scare you. I'm like, okay, I think I, he must have I can stick it now if you want me to. Like, I can take bubble gum and stick it on the thing right now. <laughs> He's like, no, it must be on the screen. So, how do you want to cooperate? Ah, wow. Like, uh, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, you played dumb, even though you knew exactly that he was asking yeah, for a bribe. Yeah, he's asking for. Yeah, but then he got annoyed because, like, he kind of knew, like, it's not gonna stick, right? Like, he yeah, and he can't actually write you a ticket. Like, if you have your license, just he can't, he can't actually write you a ticket. Yeah, because I've actually got it. Yeah, I, I just didn't have time. This is so bright. To, to like cut, it, cut it and put it like on the actual window thing. Yeah, yeah. but like I've got it, like a knife, if you, if you need it. Mm. You know, you need it go. Ibeas. And at the other time I was speeding and then they gave me a ticket for like six hundred or something for speeding. And then they said to me, Yeah, so how do you want a plate? I'm not giving you a ticket. It's gonna be six hundred. I'm like, give it to me. It's like, oh never mind. <laughs> Okay, you know I can make it more. I can make it more. I'm like, yeah, oh, really, you can make it more. Give me the ticket. I was wrong, and I know I was wrong. So there we go. The house keys. The house keys. You should have the house keys. No. Oh, here, here they are. 
<laughs> oh, it's raining. Mag has it, guys, has it. So, Lamont <laughs> Halakoboy Bono was actually on Monday. I attempted a weekly vlog, but I attempted Anga, so Slava, it's Friday. Um, I came back from work about an hour ago. It's four o'clock. No, it's you have been delayed, my son. It's 20 past four. I have a hair appointment at half past four um, to go and do wig lines. I got a new wig um, that I bought, and this is like my dream wig. I won't install it for you guys, but I will unbox it and show you the edges why it's my dream wig. But yeah. I'm going to do my wig lines. I think I'll do a wash. I think I haven't washed my hair in like six days. So I think I'll do a wash and then you can reverse baby. I think I'll do a wash and then I'll do my wig lines. Um, and I've got lots of unboxings to do for you guys. And I've got something exciting. At least for me it's exciting. <laughs> happening tomorrow um, that I'll share in the vlog as well. Let me go get these wig lines done at Studio 353 and then I will do the unboxings. I think we'll probably have takeout for dinner tonight. Um, yeah, and then tomorrow before I end off my vlog, I'm gonna do a weight loss Q and A that I had promised in my previous, um, in my on my Instagram. Um, as you guys have known for my previous vlog, I'm on a weight loss journey with like professional help from a doctor, and yeah, I'll give you guys a little bit of an update and I'll answer some of the questions that you guys have on Instagram. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the salon. You make a look. Don't reverse into me. Yeah. Why are you running around? I could have run you over. Hmm? Yeah, I wouldn't have a wife. You're gonna run me over. Hmm? You won't do that, young thing. Oh, my love. To, to think that we live for Fridays in mm -hmm. a blink and then Sunday night. Hey, baby. <laughs> Hello. Who's that? I have no idea. I've never seen these people before. Me neither. It's so nice to have black neighbors. I know, right? Is it your birthday, girl? It is. It's so nice. Like greenery makes such a big difference. Especially greenery that's like well maintained makes such a difference in a neighborhood. Remember that prison that we went to look at? The penitentiary in Bryanston. The Kumbula Gaakle. Guys, can I just tell you? Here's an important vlog. Here's an important vlog, guys. First of all, Sana Inkloyam Gatli Panda. This is why I could never do short hair. Because what is this, honey? What is this? Guys, look at the shape of my head. Like, that's mum for now, I hope. <laughs> On the bright side though, I feel like my edges are thriving. They are thriving, Sana. Because one thing about Aisha, she had put my edges through the most. But you know what? Staying off like styles that put on your edges for the past, I think it's been four months now. And using Snow Vuyo's uh, edge thingamabob has helped. Edge serum, the Love Kings Edge serum has helped, so now my edges are thriving. But guys, yes, I am proper a vlog. Can I tell you, I got to the salon and I um, <laughs> I put on my my camera two minutes at least my active battery, and I forgot to take a spare battery. And I have spare batteries that are like always charged. I always make sure to have spare batteries, but then I forgot. But anyway, it meant in terms of unboxing and I have quite a number of them. So I hope you got a drink, girl. Let's do some unboxings. I'm calling a little week that I bought um, a few weeks ago that arrived earlier this week. Let's start with that, shall we? So I bought the wig from... Oh, no, this is the wrong package. Where's my wig? 
Oh, here it is. I bought the wig from OMG Her Hair. And I was honestly influenced by an influencer to buy this wig. Let me know I was influenced by who always Amira. She's like a vlogger, but she does a lot of wig reviews. And she's great at it. And I bought this wig because one, it's a kinky straight wig, and you guys know how I feel about kinky straight textures, baby. Um and it's got kinky edges. That was the important part, Mike. This is the wig. I like this color actually. It's quite close to my natural hair color. But aside from liking the color and the texture of the actual hair, guys, the edges are jongi. Yes, one of the edges in my gag. Kafo inja nali kamera ish. You know what? Yo. Okay, focus here. There you go. No man. Do you guys see these edges? Yes, one. Let me put this wig on. I'm not gonna install it. I just wanna put it on. And I'm part of the big head gang, so I got like a big one in terms of circumference you know i do think i probably need to tweeze it because nobody's edges are this full <laughs> as natural as these edges are i can almost ow is there combs in here ow yeah there's combs in here that's why nobody's edges are this full so it needs to be plucked or tw not tweezed. yeah is it plucked tweezed londi you guys see that let me bring you closer. Hold on. Neighbor, I can't bend it, did I? Do you see those edges? Neighbor? Guys, I, I can't be the only person that's gagging. Over this. Okay, let's take you back. <laughs> Stickers. <laughs> Intimate. Let me take this off. I can't be the only one, guys, who is gagging. I cannot. And please love how the lace is brown. You see that? Guys, I don't apply any product today. The lace is already brown. Hi, Shem. I think I'm skeptical about if I should take it myself, if I should like pluck it myself or if I should take it to the salon and get it plucked because this is too thick. Like I still want this, the, these edges, but I want them a little bit lighter, like a little bit sparse, you know, because look at my hairline. See how my hairline is a bit sparse? I want it like that. I don't care who says what, and I know what these edges are this for. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah this is the wig that i bought and i'm going to wear it tomorrow and i born away to once i installed it i'm actually so excited i am so excited i'll link it below this is not sponsored they didn't send this wig to me baby i i, I bought this wig with my hard-earned cash money okay but you know, OMG her hair, if you see this vlog, baby, I appreciate her sponsorship because this week didn't come cheap. <laughs> it did not come cheap, guess I am, but I'm so excited, guys. <gasps> we actually currently have low shading, but let me continue. I'm using the window light. Let me quickly get through these unboxings, actually. got this hair tool i ordered it off of amazon um <laughs> and i was influenced to buy this hair tool by the same person who influenced me to buy this wig um and this is the chi spin and curl um hair curler that's what it's called this is what it looks like and it's like an automatic curler do you guys see that is it upside down like that it's like an automatic curler focus here man it's an automatic curler where you literally just like hold it like this and you put hair in and it curls your hair like 
yeah oh amira also influ influenced me to buy this i'm not gonna lie this was quite pricey in fact you can actually kind of see how it works ah, uh, see this lady here see this lady here how she's curling her hair that is how the, the tool works um but i'll demonstrate one of these but i don't think i'll be able to do it tomorrow because tomorrow i want to do heatless curls because um yaki and kinky straight wigs don't tend to hold a curl very well um but i'm very excited about this like i'm very very excited especially on days when i'm like in a hurry and i don't have time to do heatless curls overnight what a water fish paste and i just want to put like a curl in my hair very excited about using this the second package is actually a valentine's day gift from the art store guys can you believe i get gifts from ark ark guys yeah lord um but they sent me a gift for valentine's day and it is the victor and rolf flower bomb i think it's ruby nectar fragrance i actually already have the original um flower bomb but i don't have this particular flower bomb like this flanker and i'm actually gonna test it now with you guys <laughs> i literally got this maybe two days ago or three days ago and i've been holding on to it so that i can show you guys but sana you might have opened this the wrong way here the wrong way my bad i had to show you guys in a vlog what size is this even Oh, I can already smell it through the bottle. Is this a hundred mils? Guys, more hundred. Guys, I nailed five hundred more bottle because I didn't expensive chair. But this is what the fragrance looks like, man. This is, guys. This is so beautiful. Sana, I say, wow, wow. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, it's a very similar to the original flower bomb, but it's a little bit it's a little bit creamy, not creamier, um sensual, like I would say this is like the night version of the original flower bomb. God. Wow. Wow. It, it, it. I think it has vanilla even. It's very similar to the original flower bomb, but it's got vanilla. Let me check the notes <laughs> so I don't lie to you guys. Let's look at fragrance a car. This is so nice, guys. Yeah. In there, I knew it. So it's got vanilla. Hey, Maggie, let me just look at the, at the note breakdown. Okay so in the top notes it's got peach and vine in the middle notes it's got orchid and then in the base notes it's got vanilla i knew there was vanilla in here guys this is so nice it's so pretty like this is a pretty girl fragrance like this is a thorough thorough pretty girl fragrance wow i'm already a big fan of the original flower bomb and i kind of feel like this is better I feel like this is actually better than the original flower bomb yes it's better but i think the original flower bomb is more versatile this one is more of like a nighttime scent or gagne winter daytime scent you know what i mean whereas i feel like the other flower bomb you can literally wear it like all night all day all year long yeah anyways moving along um, I got some wig installation stuff from and styling stuff from Take A Lot that I had ordered earlier in the week. And because these types of textures of hair, like kinky straight hair, yaki straight hair, and so on, they don't curl very well. Um, neither does relaxed hair, actually. I feel. <laughs> so I bought these um, heat this heatless hair curling kit. This is what the packaging looks like from Take A Lot. And I've seen these a lot from the American Girl. In fact, here's a girl here who's installing it. You see that? If I see that? 
she's curling her hair you use this to create like heatless curls um if you don't want to use a curling iron and if you want your curls to like last a little bit longer i'm going to use this tonight when i prep this wig so i'm quite excited about that but it comes this is what it looks like this is what it looks so you install it like that and then you twist your hair around it it's nice and soft i appreciate that you twist it and i like it it's made out of satin is this satin yeah but it's not very silky satin it feels like satin and you twist your hair like around this thing and in the morning sana you get like bomb like body wave um in fact you get like wand curls i feel depending on how you do it and then when you brush them out they become more like body wave curls um and it comes so it comes like that and then it comes with two uh scrunchies that you can use to secure it here on your wig but i'll show you guys i'll show you guys tonight when i prep this wig for tomorrow okay next I've got this big package here. This is also from Take A Lot. Um, and this is like wig installation stuff. And I'm so grateful, guys, that I actually found these things off of Take A Lot. And I didn't have to order on Amazon. Because time when you order on Amazon, your packages will take like two, sometimes three, I can't, three weeks. Okay, okay. This literally came in a day. I ordered this on Tuesday. It came on Wednesday. But let me show you guys. It's equipment for installing my wig. So this is like a hamper type thing um, for girlies who install their own wigs at home instead of going for like professional installations. Let me open this. And it comes with like a whole bunch of stuff. And I really like it. And I think this cost me a thousand rand. There is a wig canvas head for your wigs. Let's see. Let's feel the texture of this. I wanted a canvas head because I wanted something that I can put pins in um, for when I'm styling my hair so that my hair doesn't like slip and slide, you know? Is this something you can put pins in? I think so. It feels like plastic with like a fabric on top. But yeah. <gasps> oh, excuse me. I got this. Wow, it even came with lace. But is I teen in the lace? And I'm done, guys, lilies. That's my sister, and I'm done. Anyways, <laughs> um, let's see what's in here. Yay! It came with these tea pens. Look, guys. It came with these T-pins. This, these are the pins I was talking about for when you want to secure the wig. So I'm guessing if they send me these uh, T-pins, it means that the, this canvas thing can take these T-pins. But again, nonetheless, there was also a ghost bond. Don't know if I'll be using. There's even a lace tint, guys. Cha! So if you you see like this lace, for example, is like brown. But if you had a lace that was like white or cream, and you wanted to dye it uh, brown, you could use this. And then this is. Oh, this is a glue remover. This here is a glue remover, also comes in the pack. And there was even a wax stick. You know when you want to lay down and flatten the top part of your wig? Cha! Sana ai hemba. Niazi hemba. And I haven't even shown you guys, like, the best parts. You know? I'm cold. Guys. It even came with a tripod so you can put your canvas here so that you don't have to be trying to put your canvas on like a table or putting it between your thighs. Sana, what a sturdy tripod. I just have to eat that guys, the tripod. Guys, this is the hardest tripod I have ever felt in my entire life. It even has legs. Hi, Sana Lam. Is that in there? Okay, and then, please, God, tell me it's adjustable. Hi, guys. 
And then I say, wow. What you know? Who oh, oh, must act so wow? Hi, Sana. I say, wow. Okay, let me let me put my let me put my canvas head on here. Small bar. I just pour Sana. Guys, this is exactly what I needed. Is it secure? Oh, it's like a ball head. And then you can curl your hair, baby. You can curl your hair, girl. Guys. I need to film Unamsha. Let me finish this unboxing quickly. Do you follow Unamsha because my friend needs this. She needs she needs this. She needs this. Oh yes. Another thing that I ordered, but I bought this maybe like two weeks ago. <laughs> I got a new lens. Right? And can I just tell you the gag? I've had this lens before, guys. <laughs> I actually bought this lens back in 2021. It's a Sigma 30 millimeter f1.4 for an EFM mount. I bought this lens back in 2021, right? Um, in fact, my husband had bought it for me back then when he bought me new equipment. But I never used this lens. And then I borrowed it to Unamsa, and then she loved it so much that she eventually asked if she, if I can sell it to her, and I did. And then I realized, no man, definitely lens. <laughs> when I realized how good Namsa's videos were, I was like, I need that lens. But now I had already sold it to her, so then I had to go buy a brand new one. If you guys watched my previous vlog, the the beginning of the vlog where I did a try on haul for Vuglam, I was using this lens. But to be honest, the camera was quite close. Next time I won't have a camera that close. The camera was quite close, but this is what the lens looks like. I bought this at Camera Land. And yeah, I think this was like five point something. Five point seven? Yeah, back when I bought it back then, I think it was like 5.2, two years ago. So it went up a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is an investment into my content creation career. In fact, before I bought this one, I bought the, the, the Canon 50mm lens, right? And I tried it out and guys, it was not giving what y'all said it was going to give. Oh, then yeah, maybe I'm just so used to Sigma lenses and I love Sigma so much that oh, Canon was just, it wasn't quite cutting it. Um, but also the, 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 the Canon lens is like half the price of this one. So I guess it makes sense that it wasn't as good. But then I bought that Canon lens. I tested it out. It was not giving what it was supposed to give. And so I returned it. Um, I was like, no, Titanium lens, you buy that. Give me back my money. And then I bought this lens here. Okay, I have three more packages. No, I have another one. Sorry, guys. One more. <laughs> so one thing about my husband at this point, he is like, sick of me. Like, and all these purchases that I make has to bow my lunch and to everything and he alive is beyond me but let's unbox i i bought a teleprompter because she's going back to making um personal finance because it's getting dark in here and i'm getting nervous but i was quick um i bought a teleprompter i bought a teleprompter lander that news readers use i bought i bought a teleprompter in fact i don't think it's even useful for me to open this because it still needs to be assembled um, but I bought this teleprompter because I am going back to making personal finance education content. This year, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And one of the hard things about making personal finance content is that, let me brighten this a little bit. Those videos need to be scripted. And then you need to learn the script and then do the video, right? In my key is that that takes too much time. So to help me, I bought a teleprompter. I actually saw this on Erin on Demand. I'll link her reel below where she um, was talking about this prompter. But this is it. It's created specifically for YouTubers, especially for like uh, talk form videos. Um, but I'll show you guys one day when I'm actually using it. If you don't already follow me on my personal finance education channel, it's called Money and Purpose. I'll link it down in the description box below. Okay, three more packages. Um, these ones are actually for campaigns that I'm going to be working on. Guys, can you believe that I'm working on campaigns? Nah, nah, guys. Like, I promise you this time last year, it's what, Feb now? This time last year, I did not. I'd been on social media for two years. 
going on three and i had never gotten a campaign like ever and i remember um my first ever campaign was like in april last year um and i still remember it when i look at the video now i cringe so much because that video was awful <laughs> but like i was getting into it which i was learning um i was i was new to this you know still relatively new to this but i was new word to it back then and i've come such a long way and god has been so good like god has really been so so good so yeah these these three packages are for campaigns that i'm going to be working on over the next like month or so um two yeah over the next month um the first one guys I'm so excited to be working with this brand guys like this is a brand i have admired i think since i since i started to understand skincare guys you guys i think this is a wash this is a serum and then oh there's two more products in here let's see oh and this just talks about the products this is a cream and then this is a vitamin c serum guys actually you know what let me not risk it because i don't think that by the time i post this vlog that I would have already done these campaigns because they sent me these to actually test them out uh, before I do the campaign. Um, so I'm going to be testing these products out for the next month and the campaign is happening in March and April. So I'm going to test these out and then, yeah, by the time I post this vlog, that the campaign wouldn't have even started. So, please follow my Instagram to see if I actually ended up doing the reels. Um, and if this campaign ended up working out and I ended up being able to actually use and like these products Next um, I'm doing a Maybelline campaign Shout out to the Maybelline girls Guys, I've worked on so many Maybelline campaigns like shout out to Maybelline for consistently coming back to the girl Consistently coming back to the girl um, So I'm doing a foundation campaign on the um fit me i actually already have uh this foundation as well as the super stay this one i actually don't have yet but i have this one already i've had it for like years now um and then the super stay one i haven't actually tried oh they also sent me a foundation brush let me feel this foundation i hope it's good quality Ucha. and yes i don't have a proper foundation brush guys i use a sponge i'm excited to try that i actually need to film this content this weekend and send it on monday because this campaign has already started and i'm a bit behind but it's not really my fault they sent me the package late um but yeah this is the maybelline campaign i'm working on if i've already made the real by the time not the real the pictures i think i have to do pictures yeah a carousel if i've already done the pictures by the time i post this vlog i will post the picture here okay last last now everybody go chop breakfast this one i think this one is um a hair dry shampoo um this one i'm actually not on a campaign for it yet um the the, the brand approached me for a campaign but i was like mm, i'm not so sure because i've never used this product and I've never seen it being used by black people. So I don't know if it's actually going to work on my hair. But what you can do is you can send me the product. I'll try it out um, for a little bit. And then I'll let you know if I like it. And to be quite honest, I have a feeling I'm going to use this for my wigs. And not for my actual natural hair. Um, but I'm going to give it a try on my... Actually, I can't give it a try now. I have a wig. I'm going to try it on my, on my, on my, on my wigs. But they sent me two dry shampoos. So they sent me one for brown hair. In fact, it says brunette. And although I have brown hair, my hair is very dark brown. It's not really brunette. Like, it's a very dark brown. And then they sent me... I'm guessing this is a clear one because it's just a cherry-flavored um, dry shampoo. This is it. 
yeah so i was a bit skeptical about this one not because i don't think it's a great product but because i've never seen it being used by black folks so i needed to test it out first before i just put it on my youtube channel account so design design zama was a naked chance um but i'm just gonna try it on my wigs yeah i'm just gonna try it on my wigs um and to be honest a lot of black girls wear wigs so if it's helpful on my wigs um then i'll ask them to put me on the campaign that is it for this unboxing i'm gonna um go and take a shower do some night skincare and then um i'm gonna prep my wig for tomorrow tomorrow i'm filming a wife talks with ubuli um makubo i'm sure you guys know her i will link her channel down below um, i'm gonna film a wife talks video with her tomorrow so i'm quite excited about that so i just want to prep this wig first before um that so that in the morning i literally just put it on and i do my makeup so i'm gonna curl it um i might pluck it if i have the energy if i don't have the energy i'll just lay down this hairline with some uh, foam and some gel and then i will catch you guys tomorrow let me go take a shower let me clean up here first because he mess will go up at these boxes everywhere let me clean up here first and then i'll go yeah Lately my thoughts got me distant Darker days filling up darker minds Stuck in this room that keeps spinning Wondering how you been, where you hide Late night drinking, wishful thinking What if you were Me feel. I don't want to mess up your night. I don't want to put up a fight. I don't want to trouble you, babe. But I gotta say. So, this needs an American plug. Oh, obviously, it's an American plug. But luckily, I have an adapter that I use for my trap, um, my ring light. Cause I bought my ring light off Amazon like years back. Oh wow, it's like heating up. So you can see the temperatures are going up there, increasing. Oh yeah, if you put your fingers in there, it's quite hot. So you take a piece of hair. I hope that's enough hair, and then you're gonna curl away. Okay, so. Why is it not taking the rest of the hair? Oh! Okay, but I want to curl the whole thing. Is what's up. Okay, let's see. If we do that. There we go! Oh. Now it's stuck. Okay, maybe I took too much hair. Let's try a smaller piece. when it's done guys look at that so I just want to try and place it inside this thing okay there we go then you hold it so you gotta give it like 15 seconds there we go see that Did I see these curls? Cha. But for tonight, I'm gonna do um 
headless curls on this wig because I know kinky straight doesn't hold a thingy very well, curls very well to be quite honest. But yeah, so glad it works. I don't want to waste no more time trying to shake the feelings inside. Finally got made up my mind. Can't go one more day without you. I haven't even washed my face or brushed my teeth. But I hope I know good mornings. Is it disrespectful? Uh, but good morning, guys. Um, today is Saturday. I feel a bit tired. I didn't sleep very well. And to be honest with you, I know why I didn't sleep very well. It's because we had takeout for dinner last night. And it happens every time. Every time I eat something unhealthy, especially right before bed, I do not get quality sleep at all. It's shocking to me, shocking, how like what we consume affects um, like the quality of our sleep and just our life in general. And I went to bed very like irritable yesterday because of the food that I ate. And mind you, I literally had like lamb chops and um, let me move into like properly under the roof because I'm getting rained on. Not rained on, but like the edge of the roof here is leaking on me. What was I saying? Yes, I, I had lamb chops and cream spinach is all. So like the food is this thing recording? <laughs> yes it is. I had lamb chops and cream spinach for dinner um from Papa's. So I, I did not feel good afterwards. And it yet it's like compliant with my diet, you know. I'm doing intermittent fasting with low carb so that meal was very low carb they probably did put a little bit of flour in that cream spinach but considering that was my only meal of the day yesterday the carbs are honestly negligible um yeah but also on top of that i'm dairy intolerant so it makes sense dairy always makes me feel <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna go and um get ready i think it's like half past six yeah it's exactly half past six now i'm gonna go and get ready today i'm filming with Uli makubo i'm so excited <laughs> we're doing like a wife's talk uh conversation let me actually just tell you guys the topic we're discussing so we will be discussing the importance of auditing your relationship um yeah and it's because i sometimes mention that my husband and i often have like quarterly review meetings and annual review meetings annual planning meetings to kind of like plan our goals for the year or for the term and to reflect and give each other feedback on like different aspects of our marriage our finances our sex life um like like just life responsibilities um how we treat each other and so forth so that's what we're going to be talking about i want to quickly maybe spend like 30 minutes prepping um 
I want the conversation to be as natural as possible, but at the same time, I want to make some points, like write down, jot, like jot down some points so that I don't um, miss out and stuff, you know. Anyways, let me go prep um, for this, and then I will start getting ready. I can't wait to show you guys my wig. <laughs> ching ching. I forgot something. <laughs> so I'm not showing you guys. Um, when I was doing those unboxings, there's one more package that I forgot to unbox. And it's because I had left it here in the kitchen. Let me show you one second. This package ooh, ooh, is from Yappy Chef. I can't even actually remember what's in here. I think there's like a splatter screen. But I can't remember what else, Nick Jen. But let's open it together. So then I surprise what I need to do. Let's see what is here. So that has got my dress. Pucha. Oh, okay. Okay, this is not that exciting. I bought a potato masher because the sun of Kukala, the masher, it up and butternut and whatnot with a fork and it just takes forever so i bought this potato masher what brand is this span pan and yes no yes gesson but i bought this potato masher and then this is the thing that i've actually been wanting for a while it is a splatter screen it's from la Cruce. Fits 26 centimeters to 30 centimeters. Okay, that's great. I think that's actually the size of my pants. Why does this have a stain? Oh, can you see fingerprints in on Elibo? What is this? What's home? You guys see that? You see how this reflective surface here has got like stains? I think that honestly just comes from them not packaging the whole thing why wouldn't they package the whole thing a crusade come on but i guess we have to share i didn't buy this directly from the house i bought from the share how about this there we go so the purpose of yeah guys this thing is so dirty what in the world it's even sticky you know it's like something spilled on it here on the handle. Well, that's disappointing. And then I do not have the energy to go back to La Crusade. Sorry, to Yappy Chef and tell him to give me another one. But anyways, you put this on top of your pan. Let me show you. So let's say this is your pan, me, and you're frying bacon. And you know how like when you find bacon or steak or whatever, it like psh, 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 spills all over and then there's oil on the on the stove and oil on the even on the floor. So when you fry, you put this on top. Okay. And what it does is that <laughs> what it does is that the air can still like evaporate. So there's like tiny little holes in here that allow the air to evaporate so that you don't um, end up with bacon or whatever that's like soggy because of the steam being trapped so it's different from a lid because a lid traps everything the oil and the and the steam whereas this only traps the oil it doesn't trap the steam yeah boy. so it's like rubber here underneath and then it's like metal here on top and here yo son it's goodbye to cleaning this stove every time I fry a single thing. That's that. <laughs> Let's go prep and get ready. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you. I can't take no more. From your hands and your body It hurts so much To think of you as someone else Can't get enough When you're sweet talking to me Now I'm talking sweet all by myself 
put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me. I'ma do everything for you. I don't want anyone but you. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. Can we stop the clock and rewind? Go back to that moment in time. When you say you want me for life, was it all a lie? I gave my all to deserve ya Begging on my knees just to show ya You're the one I want and I love ya No, 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 no lie I miss your touch from your hands and your body It hurts so much to think of you as someone else Can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me now I'm talking sweet about myself. You guys. <laughs> I say wow. I did get some mascara on my cheek here and I'm starting to remove it and it's smudging my makeup the more I try. So I have just left it. Let's go get dressed. My sweets? I'm going. Okay. So go okay. here. Oh, you have dressed. I'm fine. I'm literally just going to Bully's home and then I'm coming back. I think I need to buy it out so I can chip it myself. Okay. Yo, it's raining. Yo, baby. I'm reversing the bunch. So I can just get in here by the door. Please, Papa, I can go. Quick, late. <laughs> you know what, must be <laughs> Thanks, baby. You're such a gentleman. Ew. I don't want my hair to get rained on. He might. I need to buy data. And then I love you. Woo, mm -hmm. Love you. Bye. Bye. Let's go get your auntie some show on. Yeah, so that that is the shocker. But you know what? My forehead is literally two centimeters long, let me tell you. Let me buy that. Guys, I'm so late. It's quarter past. I need to buy data. Data. So that I can GPS myself to this place. Shucks, this is far. Yo, this is far. Yo! We're all set. Drive safely. Let me send her a message and just let her know. Bye, I son and desire by late. Hey, babe. Um, I'm on my way to your place. Sana, I did not realize it was... Oh, flip. Come on. Shh. Guys, I'm literally reversing into the gate. And Sana, I did not realize it was the spa. I didn't realize. Um, but yeah, I'm on my way. Whew. Let's go, shall we? Catch up with you guys in the fun week. How's it guys? You probably can't see me because the light is literally right behind me. But I've arrived at Bully's place and we're gonna film just now. She's just getting me a drink. And we're gonna film. It's like just after 11 o'clock. <laughs> Baby, maybe later we can dance, never let 